why your dog is barking, and how to stop it. Is your dog's barking driving you nuts? Are neighbors complaining? Not only is barking a completely normal dog behavior, but when dogs were first being domesticated, barking was a desired trait. We wanted our dogs to tell us if someone or something was approaching the cave. Thousands of years went into building that desirable trait, so it's not fair to our current day dogs to suddenly expect quiet when the doorbell rings. Dogs bark for various reasons, and it's all communication. To minimize or put an end to inappropriate barking, you must first put your detective pants on and figure out the reason behind the barking, and above all, manage your expectations. Let's look at the different kinds of dog barking and what you can do for each type. Alert barking. This can be your dog's way of saying, hey, hey, something's happening. It's their version of neighborhood watch and an incredibly instinctual behavior. It may also happen when your dog hears another dog barking nearby. Barking back is their way of responding with, I hear you. Since visuals and sounds trigger alert barking, a solution may be masking the noise with other sounds like a fan, white noise machine, the television, or a reggae playlist. Yaman! You should also try blocking off window access by closing the blinds or curtains so they can't see people or animals in the vicinity. Using window film is a great way to reduce visual triggers while also allowing light into your home. No one wants to feel like they live in a dark cave just to stop their dogs barking. And luckily, you don't have to. Try taking advantage of your dog's barking to teach them to be quiet on cue. It may sound strange, but by teaching what's called paired cues, you can quickly train your dog to both speak and be quiet during the same training session. We've got a step-by-step guide for that on our website. Another way to put an end to alert barking is to desensitize and counter-condition them to the sights and sounds that trigger their barking. Some dogs have an easier time getting used to new sounds while others need more time to learn. Work on creating a positive association with sights and sounds at which your dog would usually bark. Let's use the example of someone walking past your home. When you're not training, make sure you've drawn the curtains or blocked your dog's ability to see someone passing by. This prevents your dog from practicing the unwanted behavior of barking. When you're ready to train with your dog, Open the curtains and grab a few high-value training treats. The instant your dog notices the person, but before they begin barking, start feeding them treats one after another after another for the entire time the passerby is in sight. When the person disappears, stop feeding treats. This technique is called open bar, closed bar. It's specifically targeting the emotional response your dog has to seeing people walk by. When your dog feels better about the thing outside the window, they are less likely to bark at it. Territorial barking. While territorial barking is like alert barking, there are some differences. Picture your dog being the bouncer at the hottest club, your house. They're doing their best to keep away anyone who hasn't been put on the list or who doesn't pass the vibe check. Specific breeds were historically bred to be excellent bouncers, such as livestock guardian breeds like Great Pyrenees, or breeds like Mastiffs, Rottweilers, or German Shepherd Dogs. While alert barking might stop after you've been made aware of what's happening, territorial barking usually lasts longer, until whoever they perceive as the party crashers are gone. This is because territorial barking is a self-rewarding behavior for dogs. When they bark, The object of their barking often disappears, like magic from their perspective. Picture this, your dog is at home looking out the window. They spot the postal worker. They're coming towards your house. Your dog barks. The postal worker walks away from your house. Success! To your dog, their barking made the postal worker leave. They don't realize the postal worker was just passing by or dropping off a package before leaving again. In your dog's mind, they did such a good job of protecting your house, they probably deserve a treat or two. When it comes to training a dog that engages in this type of barking, it's best and easiest to simply acknowledge that they did a good job with a calm thank you, looking at the intruder and then redirecting them to another activity with you. 
Reward disengaging from the trigger, but know that you are competing against instinctual and logical responses. Play and excitement barking. This is the dog equivalent of kids squealing on a playground. Play barking tends to be higher pitched and more repetitive than other barks. While this excited style of play barking isn't usually a big problem, it doesn't always make neighbors happy, and other dogs may not enjoy the Mariah Carey octaves being blasted into their ears. Carefully managing play and redirecting a dog's attention to another activity can help keep the peace. If a particular type of play, such as chase, tends to increase barking, interrupt your dog before they start to run. Distract them with another game, like tug or fetch. If they're just so amped up that they can't settle into more quiet play, end the play session and give them an interactive toy or puzzle to help them relax. Some dogs begin to bark out of excitement when approaching other people or dogs while out on a walk. Check out our article for tips on training your dog to have calm and quiet greetings. Demand barking. Ah, the old barking you shall receive tactic. Demand barking usually happens because it has worked for your dog in the past. Our dogs have us trained very well. If your dog is acting like a toddler, repeating their parent's name while demanding to be read a book while the parent is on a work call, it's time to ignore and redirect. Remember, even scolding is attention, and attention is what they want. Ignoring demand barking can work, but it's often super hard to actually do. If you ignore for a little bit and then lose your temper, and who can blame you, then your dog has just learned to bark longer or louder. Try asking your dog to do something they already know to get your attention before they start demand barking and plan ahead. Give your dog a stuffed food puzzle or other interactive toy before you log into your Zoom meeting to prevent demand barking in the first place. Boredom barking. Bored dogs often bark because they are understimulated and it's a way to pass the time. Proper exercise and mental enrichment are key to preventing the boredom blues. We've got lots of recommendations for our favorite enrichment activities on our website. Fearful and reactive barking. Many dogs will bark when they encounter something that worries or scares them. The barking and lunging is a defensive move and it usually works. The thing they want to go away goes away. This is often referred to as leash reactivity and it is not your dog misbehaving. They are simply scared and reacting instinctively. For this type of barking, you will want to connect with a certified dog trainer or canine behavior consultant with experience in helping dogs overcome their fears. It's all about changing their emotional response and teaching them what to do instead of barking and lunging. Separation anxiety barking. Your dog misses you like crazy. This heart-tugging situation requires expert support in most cases for effective behavior modification and sometimes medication. Old age barking. Senior dogs might bark more due to cognitive changes. This is one of the more emotionally difficult types of barking to address. It's hard to see our elderly pups struggle or respond to anything with fear or confusion. Patience, working closely with your veterinarian, and understanding are key. How to stop your dog's barking. Remember, each type of barking has its own tailored training strategy. What works for one kind of barking will not necessarily work for another. For alert and territorial barking, create positive associations, desensitize and counter condition your dog to the trigger, and teach the quiet cue. For excitement and play barking, it's important to manage the environment and use motivating redirection. Demand barking, ignore it, or teach an alternative behavior. Boredom barking is best tackled with mental and physical exercise. Get professional help for the tough stuff. Reactive and fear-based barking, as well as separation anxiety and age-related issues, often require the expertise of a professional trainer and veterinarian. Don't hesitate to get the professionals involved and talk to your veterinarian about anti-anxiety medications that may help alleviate some of your dog's stress and help them get below their threshold. Dealing with a barking dog takes patience and understanding. Instead of just shouting at them to stop, which is the equivalent of your barking with them, work together as a team to figure out the why and come up with a training plan. 
keep calm and keep quiet.